Nolja here at the Crown Plaza Astro Hotel. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to Nolja. Let the good times roll. In this episode of our New Orleans Travel Vlog, we're in the New Orleans French Quarter at the Astor Crown Plaza, New Orleans, to do a New Orleans Hotel tour of their conference space. The Astor Crown Plaza New Orleans Hotel is located in the New Orleans French Quarter at 739 Canal Street, right at the intersection of Canal and Bourbon Streets. This New Orleans French Quarter Hotel has 2,000 square feet of meeting space with 20 meeting rooms, a fitness center, an outdoor pool, a business center, and offers valet parking. A lot of history has been made at this location, which is now a New Orleans hotel. Originally, this location was home to Christ Church, which was erected in 1816 and soon grew into a larger congregation that needed a larger church space, which was built here by 1837. Then, as the church continued to grow, they built yet another larger church at a different location. So the older church building on this site was sold to become the congregation dispersed of Judah Synagogue in 1845. I'm not staying at this hotel, I'm visiting this hotel as I've got several days of a conference I have to attend here, and here's one of the conference rooms on the ground floor of the hotel. So they do have quite a lot of spaces for conferences here, and as we see they have quite a lot of beautiful spaces inside the hotel on the ground floor as well. Local merchant and philanthropist Judah Toro began redeveloping much of the rest of the 700 block of Canal Street in the 1850s into what would become known as Turo Row, which was a collection of a dozen buildings. Multiple fires destroyed some of the structures on this block of Canal Street until an A. Schwartz & Son department store was built at this location, which then became a Woolworths in the 1950s. In the early 2000s, the old Woolworths location became part of the new Astor Hotel, which also incorporated four of the original Turo buildings into the hotel. This hotel also shares a connection with the Dickie Brennan's Bourbon House restaurant, and they seem to have this bar that's never open as a bar, but a lot of people during the conference used it as a space to relax and get some work done. So we'll be exploring the Bourbon House restaurant soon enough. I never saw any bartenders at this bar the entire time I was at the conference. And here's the entrance to the Bourbon House restaurant right there. And we'll explore that in the next episode. So stay tuned for that. Now here we are going up the escalator to the second floor where some of the conference rooms are located. They also had a second floor mezzanine level that was a separate access from this, which had to be accessed using either an elevator or a stairwell, which we'll go through that adventure here in a bit. Now there were just a handful of people exhibiting their companies during this conference, and there were several conference rooms on this level, along with some coffee here, which I gotta say, the coffee was not good. That's why I suggest my good friends over at Dead Sled Coffee that offers some horror movie themed and rock and roll themed coffees that are fantastic, which have really spoiled me and I really love their great coffee. So I do suggest you check out their website at deadsledcoffee.com and I have a 20% discount code NOLA, N-O-L-A, if you want to check out some of their great coffee as it uh, really made the coffee they were serving during this conference taste awful to me. Here we have another one of the conference presentations going on, but there were some of the presentations where they did not have enough chairs for the people in the conference room, which was miserable. Now, one wonderful thing about the second floor is we had this fantastic balcony access where we could look down on Bourbon Street and also down on Iberville Street. So there were some fantastic views to be had here. And there was convenient access to a lot of popular spots such as Felix's, Acme Oyster House, Hard Rock Cafe right here, of course the Dickie Brennan's Bourbon House, and many other restaurants that you're going to find right here on Bourbon Street. And in the French Quarter there's always plenty of places to eat. Now being on Bourbon Street there was also some issues with noise which was a bit distracting from some of the stuff going on in the conference and uh, definitely it was not by any means perfect with all of that noise going on. But it was a beautiful view at least. Now, we're going to go access the Mazine level second floor, which we actually had to go from the second floor to go down and then back up again, unless you were going to go get on the elevator, which a whole lot of other people were trying to get on the elevator too. So the stairs were usually the faster way to access the Mazine level here. So we've got the first floor Mazine level, we need go to the second floor of a Z level. So there was certainly a bit of chutes and ladders here to 
get ourselves on to the second floor of the zine level. Looks like maybe they're doing a bit of remodeling to get this to be a little bit of a better access pathway. Uh, they did have quite a lot of conference rooms in that second floor mazine level. So it's a little bit of a mess getting to it, I would say. So uh, when you have a larger conference, there's really not enough elevators to get a lot of people moved around between the different conference rooms as you might hope for. So that is a concern if you're having a larger conference and you're going to be needing to get large crowds of people back and forth. Now here we are, coming up onto the second floor Mazine level finally. And uh, with this conference I was at, I think they had overbooked it or somehow didn't plan for as many people as actually showed up because there were quite a few sessions where we just didn't have enough chairs for all of the people, much less tables. I mean, for the last many conferences I've been to, we had both chairs and tables to sit at, which makes it way easier to take notes and access things like your laptop, which could be useful to use to work on during conference presentations. So here's one of the conference rooms on the second floor mazine level. So some smaller rooms, but they could also be expanded into a larger space like this. I also noticed a glaring lack of electrical plugs in these conference rooms as well. So definitely if you've got a conference need, you're gonna need some access with your people having computers. This is not your space, it looks like to me. They definitely need to do some updating and make the space a little bit more user-friendly for the 21st century. So thanks so much to everybody at the Astro Hotel doing the best you could with what you had. Uh, certainly there is some updating that needs to be done and it looks like you're beginning that process. And thanks so much to all of you out there for tuning into the Knowledge Gen channel, especially to my Patreons. Would you kindly go ahead and share this video with any of your friends or contacts that would enjoy it as it really would help me with the YouTube algorithm? Then tune in next time for more good food, good times, and good people. Nolagen here, and thanks so much for watching, and just go ahead and destroy this video right here to keep up with the fun.